there's a TikTok video I watched recently of somebody else's podcast that has a lot of NFL players on it. And it's talking about Taylor, who is a defensive back for the Pittsburgh Steelers, and Mike Tomlin, who's the head coach of the Steelers. Mm -hmm. And Taylor got a concussion, and he had a team of doctors, and they evaluated him. He said, oh, yeah, he's good to go now. And Tomlin walks in, and as much as I don't like the Steelers, I have the utmost respect for Mike Tomlin as a coach and as a person. He's done some really bad stuff in the sense of cheating by tripping somebody, but it was supposedly an accident and a couple of things I like was that. so sorry. Can we pause? Because I have lost how we got to the Steelers in the first place. Okay. I'm so I know this is a serious subject. I'm not goofing no. here. I literally blinked and thought I missed something. So we're talking about- We're talking about concussions. Concussions in there. Did I miss context in between that and getting- to I, I'm the getting Steelers. to the context. Okay, okay, okay. So gotcha. the, gotcha. the context is this player, Taylor, had a concussion, and he was being evaluated, and the doctors were good to be able to tell the coach, yeah, he's good to the go Dolphin. and play. No. No, this is Steelers. This is the Steelers. This okay, is all gotcha, the Steelers. Gotcha. This is a conversation okay. about the past. Right, right, right. And Mike Tomlin walked into the room, and they were having the discussion of him being like, I'm ready to go. Let me go back in and play. And he, Mike Tomlin says one thing. He listens. He stops him before he finishes his speech, arguing for him to go back in. Uh -huh. And he says, if you were my kid, this wouldn't be a discussion. Uh-huh. And basically told him you were not going back in. Right. And that's the thing that comes into the conversation here is he stepped in to protect that person as mm -hmm. a person. Yeah. Because obviously these players are out there to make money. This is their career and winning games is a big part of their career. But at one point, do you sacrifice somebody's health for that? <sighs> and is that the decision that the people around them make? <sighs> to protect the athlete or does the athlete have to do it because we get into the conversation here of like what i did i forced my doctor to sign off for me to play full contact football in college because i wanted to play after my kidney transplant mm -hmm. if i took one hit to the abdomen where my transplanted kidney is it could kill me so that sounds really like a bad idea yeah. So it comes into the conversation of at what point is the player's decision and how they want to live their life more important or people protecting them?